Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5067036 or KB5067939 because of this error code that is 0x800F0983. To fix it, the first step is to retry the update. When the update fails, if you see the retry option, hit retry. Sometimes a simple retry takes care of the problem. If that does not work, restart your computer once. After the system restart, you can try to update and then check. Still not working, pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and then over here you can see pause option, hit pause and then resume the updates and then you can check. Still not working start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find windows update scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click on windows update and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then make a right click and then click on restart now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness over here and then set this to automatic Apply, click on start if highlighted and then make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now still not working, then run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and this will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window. Once the second scan is 100% complete, run the third command. So copy and paste it on the same window. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5067036. If you're facing problem with this update, then you can copy the name of this update. And then you can paste it over here and then hit the enter key. You can write down the name of the update. And then now you have to check the version WINVER in window search box, type in WINVER and then click on WINVER run command. Check the version here. In my case, the version is 25H2 and then open Windows settings and then go to system and then scroll down, go to about option. You will see the system type. In my case, the system type is 64 bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 X64 based system. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2, the X64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then over here, you will see KB5067036. Click on it. And then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file. And you can follow the on-screen instruction. And you can install this update manually. And then you can restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option go to recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once it is done uh, the if you go to update history after that you have to restart your computer after the system restart you will see the repair version of version 25h2 or version 24h2 whichever you have and then you can try to update your windows 11 and then check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file 
now when you run this exe file uh, click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete click on finish option once you hit finish let this close automatically it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel